The sun has finally set on the life of an African leader whose legacy is food security. Bingo Wamutarika, who took over power in 2004, died at the age of 78 following a heart attack. His death, however, still remains a mystery to the people of Malawi as the government, by the time of going on air, had not officially announced his death. Those who spoke to Citizen TV said they have only learned of their president's death through international media and the internet. Mutarika's death was confirmed through hospital and government sources who did not want to be identified. One doctor said the president had been rushed to hospital after a cardiac arrest, but the medics were unable to save him. President Mwai Kibaki is among world leaders who have sent their messages of condolence to the people of Malawi following the demise of their leader. Kibaki said Mutarika was a distinguished economist, an international diplomat who served his country and the African continent in numerous distinguished capacities and made fundamental contributions to the world economy. President Kibaki said Mutarika will be remembered for steering the South African country to great success, especially in terms of food production and food security. <laughs> Mutarika's administration transformed the tiny nation from a hunger-stricken to a food security nation. His focus was mainly on subsidies to resource-poor farmers and proper post-harvest management, as he explained to Citizen TV in an earlier exclusive interview. Without adequate food, economic development cannot take place. Even at global level, the food crisis is creating a lot of problems in uh, the development of the world economy. He had worked as Minister for Planning, a World Bank loans officer, and had spent considerable time in Kenya while working with the United Nations Economic Commission of Africa and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa. <laughs> Motorika's legacy started waning as he increasingly came under fire for attempts to rein in media and to shield the government from public criticism. He has been under pressure to resign amid accusations of nepotism and economic mismanagement. Reports indicate that his death has drawn little sympathy on the streets of Blantyre, the commercial capital, where many people viewed him as an autocrat responsible for chronic shortages of fuel, food and foreign exchange. As Malayans mourn the death of their leader, the poor nation has been plunged into political suspense as it is not clear who will succeed him. While the constitution says the vice president should take over, Motarika had been grooming his brother. The vice president, Joyce Banda, had since defected to the opposition despite clinging onto the VP's post. Alex Chamwada for Citizen Weekend.